Yes, guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102, game on, heads up, network game, part 20, motherfucking 2. Part 22, we are at the end of season 20. Now, this is pretty fucking remarkable. Um, you know, just how far we've come in this game in like a couple of months. Now, there hasn't been too, too much activity since the, um, since the last, um, since the last game. And a little bit of a spoiler alert for you there. You can see who we both are. Um, we are still as is. Dortmund and PSG. But I'll give you a quick recap on how season 20 ended. And there is some news. There is some news. You're just going to have to hold it in your pants before I reveal what it is. Um, so season 20 comes to an end. And it was looking good, weren't it? It, it was looking really good um, with regards to mine and Matt's unfinished business in France and Germany. Um, so Matt then, let's just see how he finished out. Matt, Matt finished as champions of France. He has done it after his sacking several years back. He has concluded um, the French objective and he wins the league. He also won the French League Cup as well. He bowed out the Champions League to Arsenal. You may recall he had Arsenal. Um, so, and he's been building for the new season. He's built for the new season. I don't think he's got much money left, to be honest with you. But he's brought some quality players in. I don't know who this Croatian is, but absolutely solid. The Van der Vaart region, the Raul came available on an unprotected contract. Uh, Tony Vanti, uh, that's Hupia region. Cesar Caballero, superb. And Ibrahim Sayed, he's got no money left. He has still got one more player. Um, looks good. Looks very good. There's your breaking news. You weren't expecting that, were you? You were not expecting that. And this is how we save. We, we said we'd sleep on it because I really didn't know what to do. Um, you can probably work out now. I won the title with Dortmund. Um, I got knocked out of the Champions League to Man United, 1-0. Same, uh, same, um, same part as uh, Matt did when he lost to Arsenal. Um, me and Matt, we've openly said we want new jobs. Now, uh, I, I went to bed with this dilemma. I went to bed with this dilemma. So Inter Milan have offered me the job. £142 million to help me achieve my success, my goal of mounting a serious table, uh, table championship challenge. The, their, their, real, their, their best player is by far this guy, Christophe uh, De Rocha. Absolutely superb. I'm not disputing he's not a good player. They've recently brought uh, a couple of players in. That De Costa is a great striker. He wouldn't count as part of my allocation of seven. Uh, a right winger there. I mean, those three players... They are, um, those three players alone, the left winger, that right winger, and that striker are quality players. Even that youngster goalkeeper there. And I would obviously get seven fresh transfers. They haven't got the greatest squad in the world. They really haven't. And, and it, it's difficult, really, because any squad, any team that I look at with the potential of taking over, are not going to have any sort of squad compared to what I've got at Dortmund. Um, it's going to be... I, I still haven't decided. I still haven't decided. I don't know how much they've got. All I know is that they're rich uh, and £142 million to spend. Whether that means uh, they've got much more in the bank, I can't imagine they're having much more. But the reputation in Italy, I believe, is a lot higher than it is in Germany. And you can tell that by that. Transfer fund... Um, what the fuck? £142 million to spend. Um, they haven't started the season yet, which is uh, great timing. And we did say, me and Matt, uh, would it be good if we could get the um, into an AC job? I Milan are slightly insecure, so who knows? A couple of bad results, and uh, that could come vacant. Um, similar sort of setup there. You know, we would share the stadium. It would be great. I, I really haven't decided what to do at Inter Milan. Because what makes it harder is, uh, amongst with my um, amazing squad, look at the players that I brought in. Uh, Jens um, Schachter. Now, we brought in some youngsters. And we did have Michael Owen arrive. Was it Mike? Yeah. We Do you remember we agreed Michael Owen to arrive on a Bosman? We were going to get Owen on an unprotected deal in December last year. We ended up going for that uh, English guy, Marsh. Uh, 
Uh, and then I decided to fuck him off, Mark, uh, Michael Owen. We brought in Shakhtar, who was a young defender. Uh, we brought in this young Norwegian. A again, you know, they're, they're just a bit of backup. And Salerno, Salerno, um, all pretty decent. We then brought in some marquee players. Harry Kewell Regent arrived for 17 and three quarters of a million pounds. David Beckham returned to Dortmund. Let me remind you, Beckham, I was forced to sell Beckham last year due to um, him, his contract being unprotected, becoming unprotected, and I had to cash in, but he's returned for 25 and a half million. Montero was already leaving when I turned up at Dortmund last year. He has returned for 15 million pounds. Um, you may remember he opted to move to Dortmund, uh, to PSV ahead of Matt's PSG. And the last player who arrived on a on an unprotected deal, just turned 31, because I won't be here in a year's time, let's be honest, was Christian Vieri. So their side, generally speaking, is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Lee Boyer signed a new contract. Uh, he wasn't playing ball on a new contract. Bartes, Khan, Thomason are all the main guys in goal. Uh, there you see we've got a real in, uh, real solid uh, back line now. Real solid forward line. And a real frightening forward line with Shearer, uh, Vieri, Marsh, and of course Mark Hughes, Regen. Uh, Marsh, I don't know who he is, but looks fucking deadly, don't he? He looks absolutely deadly. And so far, in these early days, we've won the League Cup. We won it on penalties. Um, although we, we did deserve it and we've opened up our German account with a 4-1 victory over Nunberg um, last season then we uh, were, like I said we were eliminated in the Champions League to Man United but we held firm to win the league title what do we do what do we do now I, Matt I don't think went for it Matt was into years ago Matt was into Milan and he said he didn't want to be into um, again I'm not 100% sure if that's the case um, because I think it was a case of he's hoping for AC to come and I get that. Um, for me, right, uh, uh, now this is what I was thinking last night when I went to bed like a fucking sad bastard. Um, I have had four stints in England. Um, what, Liverpool, uh, Leeds, Arsenal, Liverpool again, so four stints and we've done it. We've had two stints in France where we went to PSG and returned to PSG. In Germany, we've had actually three stints. Dortmund, Bayern Munich, Dortmund, so two successful stints in Germany. We've had PSV twice in Italy. So, uh, and it, um, in Italy, we've only had the one stint. We had Lazio, Portugal, we've had um, Porto. Don't even know why we've got Russia open. Spain, just the one stint. We haven't had anywhere in Belgium or Brazil or um, Argentina. So a second stint in Italy does appeal to me, if the truth be told. Uh, as does a new challenge. Um, as does the fact that it's the start of the season. Maybe I'm talking my way into accepting it. I don't know. I don't know. The alternative is we give it another season with Dortmund and we go for the Champions League. Who knows? What do we do? It would be nice to end up in Italy with Matt. Who knows? Um, we did apply for a job. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you their setup. River Plate. They were available, right? Start of the season. And they were rich. I looked at the stadium. I looked at the finances. I thought, okay, looks interesting. Side's not that great, but obviously it's a lot different of calibre. Okay, let's see how much they're offering us. 5.5 million pounds <laughs> to take over. So it was a big fat fuck off uh, there. Now, I don't know if they're still available, but Boca, yeah, they are. Boca Juniors, they were, it's funny really, because they were very insecure and River Plate were available. And Boca Juniors, uh, their managers now join River Plate. Now, it's not much different. I can't imagine the stadium is a bit bigger. And I would imagine that the finances ain't much different. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I thought about it for about five minutes. So, guys, we're not going to play till tonight. I need you. I need you. Right, I need you to help me. Uh, is it time to move to Inter Milan? Is it time for a second stint in Italy? 
or do we chance it? I'm going to let YouTube decide here. This is breaking news. Matt don't even know this. I didn't even know this 60 seconds ago. I'm going to let you guys decide. But you've got until I get home at about 10.30 tonight. It is 9.30 in the morning, Friday the 14th of July, 2023. And in precisely uh, 13 hours, I'll have gone out, gone to work, come back, and we will have a stint, and I will make a decision, yes or no. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, I just don't know. I just don't know what to do. Um, it really is so, so difficult. Um, I don't know why I went to that. It, it is... It, I can't even, I mean, I'm, not, I'm no different now than what I was last night. So, if you've got any advice, guys, always seek an advice. Those of you that have uh, followed this series from the off, let me know your views, guys. Let me know your views. I'm really, really intrigued. Uh, if you want anything doing on CMO 102, do share it with me, and I will try and get to it. If there's any updates you want, knowing how to implement anything, you want player profiles, let the player profiles, anything whatsoever. And until next time from me, guys, it's take it easy.